There's a version of ChatGPT called God Mode, and it's the most insane AI tool I've seen so far. It's like ChatGPT, but it's on full autopilot. It could complete tasks on its own. It could assign new tasks for itself. It could search the web. It could even output entire text documents with research, analysis, schedules, to-dos. Let me give you the overview of how this came to be and exactly what it could do. Basically, ChatGPT, you probably used that before. That came out in December 2022 with GPT-3. Then they released another version called GPT-4 a few months later. Now, right after that, someone created something called AutoGPT, which is basically the AI chatbot that you're used to that is powered by ChatGPT, but it runs on autopilot. The only problem with AutoGPT is it required a bit of technical knowledge because you actually had to install it on your local computer. So then a few days later after that, someone created something called Agent GPT. And basically, Agent GPT is auto GPT, but it's on a website. So anybody could use it. It doesn't require any technical knowledge. And it does basically what auto GPT did, which is you would give it a task and it would create an entire to-do list for itself. And it would start completing those things on its to-do list. Think again, see what it needs to do, and then go do that thing. It's an incredible way to AI to be on autopilot. Now that brings us to what's called God Mode. Again, this is a website, this is an AI chatbot, and it's like Agent GPT, but it could do things Agent GPT can't do. It's even more powerful. Let me show you exactly how it works. So the website is godmode.space, and basically all you have to do is press sign in and create an account. Now this is a free account. It's gonna give you some things that you could do with the free account, but eventually you'll have to basically give it the API from OpenAI, the company that makes ChatGPT. This is using the data from that. But I'll show you that in a second. Right now you could do everything without doing any kind of technical things like adding an API. Right here, you have what do you want to do? Just like ChatGPT, there's a chat box here. And instead of ChatGPT, it's not gonna give you just one answer. It's actually going to try to achieve the task that you're going to give it by creating subtasks. I'm gonna ask you at that, I'm trying to create a website, let's say I don't know anything about that, that teaches people all about the latest AI tools, and then I could just press launch right here. Now look what it does. It came up with some suggestions that I could add, like research a comprehensive list of the latest AI tools. Yes, I'm gonna do that, or I want you to do that, God mode. Design and develop a user-friendly website, yes and create and publish informative content about each AI tool on the website, yes. So it came up with these tasks for itself. Now I could launch it and it's going to try to accomplish these on its own. So, so far, all I did was give it this and then I agreed to some of these things. This is really cool. Each step is gonna ask you to basically approve the step that it's going to take or it wants to take. So it just doesn't run like Agent GPT. Agent GPT just keeps running till you stop it. This basically lets you at each step, approve it so you could make sure it's going in the right direction. Be to start this project, let me begin by researching the latest AI tool. Okay, so it's gonna give me its thoughts and then it's gonna give me the reasoning why it thought this way. So this is the logical first step for building a website about AI tools. And look at this, proposed action, search Google and input latest AI tools. And then it's gonna do that and it's gonna do its own research. Anytime I feel like it's not going in the right direction or the direction I want it to take, optional right here. Give it feedback and it could switch directions. So every time I've done this before, if I felt like it was doing too much research on one topic that I already had made a decision on, like what website hosting service I'm gonna use, I would just tell it to skip that and keep going. So I could approve this plan. Each step, you could see all the tasks that are gonna appear over here. So I'm over here, it says waiting for approval. I'm gonna go ahead and approve this plan. And then it's gonna go ahead and do that Google search and compile the list of the research for me. So now it says we have a list of the latest AI tools from the internet and let's save it for future reference. Let me write you a file called AI tools. It's going to create a text document for me. It's gonna give me the reasoning, save this list for future reference. And this is basically what it's trying to write. Look at this. So I'm gonna say approve. And this is the really interesting part. You see this little section called files? It says no files yet. I'm gonna show you what happens in a second as soon as it's done with this command. 
Okay, it's done. So it says now we have that saved as a file. So we can move on to designing and developing the website. And look at this right here under files. I have a file I could download. So I could press this download option. And it's just a text file, but look at this. It gave me all the different research that it did. So these are basically all the different articles. This is from Forbes, from Shutterstock, from Zapier. It read it and it gave me a summary of exactly what these things are, right? That's really, really cool. This would have taken me a while. Anytime I could close this and come back and all these results also are available here. So I could view the result of that command and see what it came up with. This is basically what it output it into a text file for me. And then I could see exactly what it's done at each step of the way. So it's done with the research phase right now for now. And it's moving into the design phase, right? Remember, those are the three different pillars that I gave it. And then I just need to approve this stage of it, which is it's trying to figure out exactly how to create a website that has good design and informative content to attract visitors. That's the reasoning. This is the thought. And then the command is it's actually doing another Google search for best practices for website design and user interface. So it's going to do that again on its own. And it will keep going. It will create different files for me. And I'll show you this other one that I actually been working on here. Look at all these different inputs that I gave it and look at all these different file types from research to information, to educational video scripts, to an entire production plan on how it could make more videos to educate people. All of that is available here. So for example, just to give you an example of what this looks like, here's the production plan it gave me on exactly what I need to do. Define the type of videos you wanna make, define the release schedule, the task for assignment. This is incredible. And it's all done with me just pressing approve every time it comes up with a plan. Now, when you run out of credit, basically all you have to do is go to the settings tab right over here. And then you have to type in an API key and choose a version of GPT. In this case, I chose 3.5 instead of four because it just is much cheaper. So let me show you, I've been running this for a couple of days just to show you what the cost is if you connect your API key and where to get this API key. OpenAI, the company that makes ChatGPT, all these chatbots are powered by ChatGPT, the official ChatGPT. These are not officially from ChatGPT, but they're using the same data set. So you could sign up here for the Open API key, OpenAI API key. So I've already signed up. So the link is openai.com slash blog slash openai dash API. I'm gonna sign up, you could just Google OpenAI API key too. Now, if you don't have an account, you need to create one. Again, this is a free account, but this is a little bit different than ChatGPT, even if you pay for the plus version. Click on personal right up here and then choose view API keys. And these are all my API keys, but you just need to create an API key right here. Don't show this to anyone. This is access to the back end of your open API and then copy that and put it in that box I just showed you in the God mode. And that will basically let you run this as long as you want. Let me show you how much it costs. There's a usage tab right here in the OpenAI website and it shows me right here, I spent 28 cents testing this for a few hours, basically letting it run. So it only cost me 28 cents. Now it may be different for you, but they do actually have a limit. So you can't just completely spend thousands of dollars. They do limit this for you to 120 I believe per month. So you can't spend more than that unless you change that setting. So, so far, if I look, I'm only at definitely less than a dollar so far from the three days that I've been using this. I used it a ton yesterday. Now, if you want to check out agent GPT, which is similar to this, but it actually just keeps running till you stop it. I'll put a link to that video right here and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.